What's going on, guys? What's up? Hey, what's up? Howdy, howdy. Good morning, guys. Saw, dude. I don't know. Whatever. Skip that intro. Anyways, what's up guys? So today, I'm making a little vlog. I got, I got Phoenix a new perch. So, so far, Phoenix is warming up to the house pretty well. One thing that I've been doing since he's probably been here for almost two weeks now. Right now, I just leave him on his cage. I leave those doors open up top. He comes in and out throughout the day as he pleases. He sleeps on his cage. He's just staying on his cage. I don't want to try to scare him and take him off yet. It's only been a couple weeks. But now that he's getting used to being here, at least he's getting me, he's getting used to being fed by me every day. He knows I take care of him. Just bought him a perch. So now I'm gonna set up the perch on the other, a little bit further away from his cage. And then I'm gonna work on getting him to step up onto me. I'm gonna take his toys out of his cage. Cause right now he has toys in his cage and that's like super fun for him. So he honestly can care less about, he can really care less about being outside of his cage because he's got everything he needs right in his cage. He's got a, he's got a little bath right up top here. So yeah, Phoenix has everything he needs out here. He's got toys already in his cage. I mean, he's got a toy right here that he's playing with. Um, he's got his little swing inside there. So he's got everything he needs in his cage. His cage is super fun for him. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set up, I'm gonna set up a perch over here, probably about eight feet away from his cage. You see how Tarouk has his stand right here. It, don't mind the mess. I gotta uh, today's cleaning day. I gotta clean the I gotta clean the floor and I gotta clean the cages right after this video. I gotta do and I gotta feed the snakes and give them some water and feed them too. So this video is gonna be pretty fun. I got a new perch for him. Probably gonna get a couple more. My buddy Will, Will Nace, um, he's got, he just ordered me a whole bunch of dragon wood. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna do a video of how to make these perches, cause these perches are sick. You know, and you can make them yourself. You just gotta get dragon wood. Set them up, feed the snakes, clean some stuff. I gotta clean everything out here. This is, this is three days, keep in mind. I clean these cages every other day-ish. This is three days worth of him just being out, playing with his food, breaking stuff, pooping, getting food everywhere. That's just what, it, that's how it goes, man. The one thing you gotta know about these birds is that, dude, it's a lot of work. You gotta stay on top of them and clean them all the time, you know? It's, it's, like, a, it's like having a kid, you know? Like, there's so much, so much work. Like, Tarouk's my baby. Like, he's just like, still, still such a little baby, right? Say hi. Yeah, baby. So yeah, another thing that people don't realize is that they break a lot of stuff. You see this? This is like hundred bucks right here. You see? You see how these chains are? You see how this toy is just changed? It was full of wood. It's gone. Guess how much that cost? That was sixty bucks. So you got to keep in mind not only if you have a, a bird like this. You gotta keep in mind also, having a bird like this, or having an animal like this, you're gonna spend a couple hundred bucks a month just on toys that they are going to destroy, literally. Like you're buying toys that he's gonna rip to a million pieces. He's gonna have a blast. He's gonna have a blast doing it. It's gonna take him all day. But that's what it is. They, they cost money. And you know what, when he breaks, when he breaks a, a toy, he's got nothing to play with. He's ah. just got these chains. That's why Phoenix right now, Phoenix playing with chains. He already broke all that stuff. Ah. Everything's broken. He's still playing with it. But I got, you'll see in the video, I just got a new perch for Phoenix. I got them like $200 worth of toys. Some big toys with thick wood. You really need to get the big blocks. The thicker the wood is, the longer it's gonna take them to break it, then the less frequent you gotta buy toys. So keep that in mind. 
So, you shut up, you little booger. You ready to do this? Hmm? All right, so let's go do this. Alright, let's check this thing out. Not bad. Pretty uh pretty good sized perch. This thing's really cool. I think I that was like 250 or something like that. Got it over from Ian at Golden Cocktail. So let's get this patio cleaned up, man. Ugh, so much stuff to clean all the time. It's what my life consists of. It's cleaning some kind of poop, whether it's snake poop, lizard poop, bird poop, dog poop, cat poop, all the poops. It's life though. Tell me. All right, so what I just did, I cleaned up all the paper. I use paper in the bottom of my cages just because one, it's cheap. You can buy it in these big rolls at Home Depot. Um, Cause you know, I, I change the bottoms out every other day. So it gets pretty dirty over the course of a couple of days. Use that, awesome, super cheap. The same thing in the bottom of Tarouk's cage. This big aviary, by the way, I got it on Amazon for 500 bucks. It's been holding up. Awesome. Um, some of the paint chips off here and there. It's got a couple little rust spots, but dude, 500 bucks. This cage was a thousand dollars. 500, a grand. Dude, this is where you go. So I'm actually gonna order another one for Phoenix soon. That way I can actually walk in there, have a It's probably gonna be easier for me to teach him how to step up that way rather than he's always on top of his cage. Birds, in case you didn't know, when they're above you, it's a lot harder to work with them. They feel like they're dominant over you. So it's always best when you're training your animal have them below you. So, that's that. I gotta pressure clean everything real quick. Um, another thing with the pressure cleaner, sometimes I dilute the water with some uh, bleach to clean it. Today, it's not really that bad because I just pressure cleaned it a couple days ago or maybe like a week ago, something like that. So I'm just gonna hose it down, no chemicals. Don't do that. Chemicals are horrible for these guys. Make sure you know what you can, what you can't use. Make sure it's pet friendly. So, that's that, let's get pressure clean. Booyah! All right, just like that, is everything's clean. It's really hot. Look at that! Oh man. Uh, mostly clean. That little, I guess I gotta get that little piece of poop right there. All right, now we're done. So, in real life, that probably took 10 minutes. It's almost worth it. Pressure cleaner, awesome. You got a big bird cage, keep it on concrete, put paper down so it doesn't get that dirty. Once a month, twice a month, you wanna stay super, super clean. Dude, hit it with a pressure cleaner. You don't even need any chemicals. You just blast the poop right off. It's awesome, right? And then everybody's happy. Right? Everybody wins. So, now I'm gonna set up, I got them a whole bunch of toys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna set them up some stuff. And the whole point of this is, I don't know if you were paying attention before, but Phoenix won't come off of his cage. He, I mean, he probably will, but like right now his cage is his safe spot. He stays at the top of it, he feels super dominant. He doesn't want to come off it all the time. So what the, the goal of this is, is I'm gonna use this stand right here. I'm gonna take all of his toys out of his cage and I'm gonna make this the fun, the fun zone. So now Phoenix's cage is just gonna be where he sleeps pretty much at night. I'm gonna take all his toys out. So he can't really play in his cage. Which maybe when I leave, if I go to work or something and he's on his cage, obviously I'll, I'll have a toy for his cage. But for now, I'm gonna put the cages on the stand. So that way in the morning, when it's time to take him out, I give him a treat, he's gonna wanna step right up onto me because he's, he's got a treat, and then he knows he's gonna go on his play stand where he's got all of his toys. So that's the goal. Do that a whole bunch of times, he'll learn. He'll be a sweet bird, just like Tarouk, hopefully. Right? Right, you little baby? He still makes his baby noises. He's only a year old. You just turned a year old like five days ago. See that little flinching thing that he does? It's a baby thing. That means you're, that means you're little. On to the next thing. Got these blocks. Now see what I was saying before about having these thick blocks? Some of the smaller toys that have the really thin ones, dude, they'll, it'll take them two hours to destroy that whole thing. You know? 20 bucks, you know, 30 bucks. These are 40 each. It's gonna take him a while to wreck these things. Hey, you want this? 
That's what you want. That's what you want. So, yeah, he's going to destroy these things real quick. Right? He's going to break them off. But that's what it's for. And then this other one, this one right here, those are my fingers, man. This one is even crazier. This one will be for Phoenix. This one was like 60 bucks. So imagine that, 60 bucks. Dude, this thing's gonna be gone in a week. You won't even, it's just gonna be a bunch of, it's gonna be a bunch of chains on here, you know? You do stop by him. So what I'm gonna do is I gotta go to Home Depot still. I gotta hang them. I'm probably gonna grab some chains and hang them from the ceiling. I just gotta put some anchors up there for it because I'll pull these things right out the ceiling. Hi, Phoenix. Ah. Hi. So, slowly but surely, sometimes you let me touch you. As long as I talk to you first, okay? Right? Yeah, see? Look at that. You're being good. No. 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 Hey. No. You let me touch you. You let me touch you. See? He still tries to get me sometimes. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You'll get bit good. Trying to trying to tame birds down. Here, there's times where. He lashes on my finger. They grind their top and bottom beak together when they get you. And dude, it hurts really bad. I can't afford to lose any more fingers. I don't know if y'all know, but I'm already four and a half fingers on this hand. I got bit by a king cobra two years ago. Two years ago. I'm gonna do a whole story about that soon. We're gonna revisit the snake and do an interview with Tom and do all that stuff about my snake bite, but that'll be in the future. There's lots of videos to make in lots of time, but it'll be cool. All right. You guys ready for these toys? Are you ready, Taruk? Yeah? Phoenix? He doesn't care. All right, so what I'm gonna do, these toys right here, I'm going to drill them into the ceiling right there. I'm gonna hang it. Hang it like this guy, see? So, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. What you think? Hmm? What you think about this? <coughs> what you think about this new uh, little setup? Check it out. So yeah, hung it up from there. Now he's got. Well, now hopefully I can get Phoenix out here. So that's the goal. I gotta take the toys out of Phoenix's cage. See? Just cleaning them right now. So once I take the cages out of Phoenix's cage, I put them all over here. This is gonna be the fun zone for them. Hopefully he wants to be over here. Then I don't have to worry about trying to get him out of his cage and him bite the crap out of me every time. It'll be cool. Things are they're awesome. They're awesome toys. So, you spoiled bird. You spoiled little baby. All right, guys. So, thanks for tuning in. This is another episode for you. Like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, give me some ideas. Uh, soon I'm gonna, I'm gonna go get all that dragon wood from my buddy Will. Um, we're gonna build a huge, another huge perch inside this cage for him, order another aviary for Phoenix. Um, yeah, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching.